and welcome to our 2022 year-end special here on First Look ETF. I'm Stephanie Stanton with ETF Guide. We are glad to have you with us. Coming up on today's show, we'll examine the significant progress made this year in the ETF marketplace, including key milestones and innovation. Plus, a preview of First Look ETF Season 3 and what trends we can expect heading into the new year. Joining us to help break it all down for us is Douglas Jonas from the New York Stock Exchange. Hi, Douglas. What a year it's been. Welcome. Hi, Stephanie. Yeah, welcome to December as we wrap up on what has been an astonishing and probably a pace-setting year for ETFs. Yeah, it's it's been an exciting year. Let's start with the overall 2022 ETF launch activity. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, what that all looked like and give us a breakdown on those numbers. Yeah, I mean, if you haven't been counting and you haven't been watching the numbers, don't worry. At the New York Stock Exchange, we are. And again, it's been pace setting. We've launched over 400 ETFs into the industry this year. And for the first time ever, there are more than 3,000 ETFs listed in trading and available here in the United States. That's the first time ever. And the cash flow has been nothing short of impressive. You know, really tough market. Doesn't matter if you're thinking about stocks, bonds, just about every portion of the market has been hit. And yet ETFs continue to buck that trend. $566 $566 billion in net cash flow coming in this year. So really incredible, uh, incredible year for ETFs and, and a lot of reasons to be thankful if you're in the ETF industry. Yeah, wow. It, it certainly has been very impressive. Uh, what a ride. So, you know, it's been 29 years since the first U.S. listed ETF was launched, which is pretty interesting. I, I, I don't think a lot of people may know that. A lot has certainly happened since then. Let's talk about the important milestones or achievements that you've seen. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really amazing. January 23rd of next year will be the 30th year anniversary of SPY. Again, 30 years. A lot of us, me included, right? I haven't been at this for 30 years. So it's great to look back and take a look at all the different milestones that have happened. And a lot of those milestones are only in the last few years. I mean, a lot of people don't realize ETFs for many, many years were just indexed and now they're active. 30% of all ETFs today are actively managed ETF. Some of the biggest you know, mutual fund companies out there, biggest names in actively managed uh, investing are all now entering and have been entering the ETF space for the last few years, which has been incredible. We have semi-transparent ETFs, ETFs that don't show their holdings every single day. Of course, the New York Stock Exchange offers our own version, 65% market share. And it's been all about education. I mean, this show included, what are we all focused on? We're trying to help investors learn about ETFs, advisors find ETFs. We're doing that together with you, of course, at ETF Guide. Also, the New York Stock Exchange launched its own website, ETF Central. And it's a free website, all investors, advisors, they can go to ETF Central, put into the screener anything they want to know. They can find every ETF Uh, As we mentioned, over 3,000 now, every ETF in the U.S., they can get all sorts of free data, all available to them at ETFcentral.com. Yeah, amazing. You know, as we've been talking, it has certainly been a volatile year for the capital markets in 2022. But what else stood out in the ETF markets from your vantage point? Yeah, I mean, there's a couple of key themes and some things that a lot of people, really smart people have worked on for a lot of years, all came to fruition this year. Uh, First was the conversions. We saw direct conversions for the first time uh, into mute from mutual funds directly into, into ETFs, from SMAs directly into ETFs. That happened at the end of last year. And here we are closing out this year. This year, there was 33 conversions for $55 billion in cash flow. And those conversions saw net cash flow afterwards, over $10 billion after that fact. Also, ETFs have just been in the forefront of innovation. I mean, a lot of our episodes all year long, go back, watch them. They're impactful. ETFs covering inflation, ETFs for all the different versions of ESG, ETFs around the crypto industry, not just the crypto space itself, but everything surrounding crypto. Same with uh, EV, right? Everything in batteries, battery technology, mining, Uh, ETFs for income, how to increase income in your portfolio. All the different ideas that are out there, all the different innovations are coming in the form of ETFs. If you're out there and you're watching the year-end episode, call us. Come, Come to the home of ETFs. I mean, this is where we're building, we're growing, and we're helping people launch their ETF businesses. Yeah, be careful. You may get a lot of people uh, knocking on your door, ringing your your phone. (laughs) 
Um, what, a, what an incredible year, really. I mean, when we look ahead to 2023, you know, I have to ask this question, how, how can you top this? What important developments or trends do you see ahead for the ETF marketplace? Yeah, I mean, look, if I look at the pipeline going forward, it's actually larger than the pipeline backwards, which, again, is amazing. But again, no shock. There's some of the largest mutual fund companies in the world have yet to launch ETFs. They're coming. Some of the largest active managers that have yet to launch ETFs, they're coming. And again, in that semi-transparent, a place where somebody doesn't want to show their holdings every day, we have solutions for you. And they're all coming into next year. We look forward to engaging with all of you. Reach out to Ron and his team at ETF Guide. Reach out to Stephanie. Contact us at homeofetfs.com or go to ETF Central. Again, it's a free website where you can learn about every single ETF listed in the U.S. right now. Fantastic. Good stuff, Douglas. Thank you so much. Bravo. It has been so great working with you uh, and the, the ETF issuers, the entire ETF team at the NYSC. We really appreciate it. Thanks, Stephanie. It's been a fantastic 2022, and I look forward to working with you on season three in 2023. And we look forward to season three of First Look ETF in 2023. Have a wonderful holiday. That does it for this special year-end wrap-up episode of First Look ETF. Now, if you enjoyed the show, tell us in the comments section below and by hitting the like button. We encourage you to binge watch the entire season, uh, season two of First Look ETF right here on our YouTube channel or Amazon Fire TV and Roku. Plus, you can listen to the podcast version of the show. It's available on all major podcasting platforms. I'm Stephanie Stanton with ETF Guide. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.